you're a singing drummer, you don't see that much. You actually do see it a lot now. It has always been a thing, but especially now, She's always gone too long. Anytime it's it's a serious thing. I mean, it's it's you see it so much that it, it's almost like you know let's let's get past it and focus on the music. Remember the Alamo, where help was on the way. It's better here and now. I feel that good today. I like to take a walk, not around the park. I've really got some news. I met a man from Mars. He Gentlemen, please introduce Josh Dion. Hey, thank you, you for doing, having man? me. How doing you doing? Well, I'm gonna take. Maybe I should take these off. <laughs> yeah, sure. Take those off. Hey, we've Intimacy. Got a really cool lesson plan for you guys. If you guys haven't uh, seen Josh Dion yet, you gotta check him out. He is what some people call a jazz drummer gone wrong. Is that right? <laughs> That's what I call me. That's what you call you. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys don't know who he is, he's a drummer from New York, but more of a songwriter, singer. You're a musician. I'm a musician. And your band is called the Paris Monster. It is in fact called that. Yeah. yeah. If you guys want to follow them, check them out on Instagram. It's just at the Paris Monster on Instagram. On Instagram. And then it's at yeah. Josh Dion. Yep. And then their website is ParisMonster.com. Yep. Be sure to go and check them out and follow them. Huge thanks to the sponsors too, Yamaha for helping bring him out here. Minel Symbols, Vic for Sticks, Evans Drumheads. Yeah, Killing. huge thanks. So, Great stuff. So we had a yeah. really cool lesson in store. We have done obviously tons of lessons just with drummers in here, but this is different. This is singing and drumming. Yeah. And just becoming a multi, multi-instrumentalist, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a, well, I mean, it's, it's interesting how many people still come up to me at a bar and say, oh my God, singing, you're a singing drummer, you don't see that much. And I, and I, and I don't want to correct people too often, but you actually do see it a lot now. Yeah. It really is, a th it, it has always been a thing, but especially now, it's, it's a serious thing. I mean, it's, it's, you see it so much that it, it's almost like, you know, let's, let's get past it and focus on the music. You know, right, I, think, right. I think there's so many great uh, artists out there who 
who not only sing and drum, but also multitask. I mean, and the multitask, even if you're not a singer, the multitasking things that drummers do now is, is impressive. I mean, you see keyboards, you see pads, you see laptops, you see mm-hmm. everything. So we've really moved down to a new place now. Exactly. Uh, so, and, and this just happens to be my version of whatever that is. So. That's a very cool setup, and you know. we got a lot more songs coming from Josh, and tomorrow, for all you guys watching live, we're going to do a whole performance. No teaching, no nothing, just him playing music, and that's going to be streamed as well as posted on YouTube, so make sure you check that out. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be on there as well. Um, but uh, So, especially, you know, drummers these days, too, you're a lot more hireable if you can bring two skills to the table. Not just yeah. drumming, but singing as well. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what you want to do, but I will say that, that singing... Especially if you're you're you know looking to be a part of a band, or or, um, or if you want to get involved musically in a different sense, I think singing is a, is a, is a really you know it's a great thing. I mean, I've always thought to myself like you know people say, oh my God, it's so hard. Well, if you think about the first two instruments that must have existed, mm-hmm. I would say it was rhythm and singing. So it's kind of right. like, it, it is a, it's something that's been in cultures for, forever. I mean, I think that uh, maybe rock music makes it a special thing, yeah. you know, but, but it, it really is a natural progression just to sing along with your ryth- rhythmic accompaniment, you know? Right, I so. guess that's why you call it the lesson primal instruments. Primal instruments, yeah, I, I think that, um, it's, it's, it, 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 I think this exists in everybody in some sense. Um, which, you know, that excites me, you know what I mean? I, I think that, that makes me want to keep exploring it, and, and I think that it's, it's kind of like years ago, um, drummers were like, you know, known as these musicians who, who didn't understand harmony or something, and it's mm-hmm. kind of like, well, now drummers you know, understand the, the full range of the piano, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it's the kind of thing where it's like, well, now it's time to move past the... the Drummers are just the friend of the band. Well, it's not really like that anymore. Right. You know what I mean? And it's the same thing with learning something like if you're if you're not a singer, um, but if you want to expand your musicality and you're a drummer, and I, w- I would say singing. You know, uh, even if it's background vocals, mm-hmm. learning how to blend with other singers, um, and uh, you'd be surprised. I mean, a lot of the great background singing drummers actually have really high voices that cut, and it's like it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome feature. No doubt. You know? Well, this yeah. lesson, we're going to break down how you can even start with this skill of drumming and singing at the same time. you got some cool examples for us, some exercises, some tips and all that. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoy it. And if you guys are watching on YouTube, we also filmed a bunch of other extra lessons inside of Drumio Edge on focusing on groove, songwriting, and some more goodies like that. So make sure you head on over to drumio.com and, and, and check that out. But that being said, I'm going to leave it to you. Take it away, Josh, how to play drums and sing. <laughs> Why should we even do that? Why should we do it? Uh, well, we're going to learn about, you want to learn about melody, you know? I mean, so therefore, if you've got a, gro- a great groove and you've got a, a great melody, I mean, it's kind of, that's kind of the, the basic element of music, um, mm-hmm. sans the harmony. But I mean, I think that having those two things, you know, certainly, you know, that, that, that's, that's the deal. That's what you want. So, I mean, that's, that's one reason to do it. Um, and uh, yeah, the reason I do it is just because I discovered I could sing, and I was surrounded by people who were just really coming into their own uh, in terms of their musical, you know, growth. And this happened to be one of the things that helped me do that. You know what I mean? Right. And and I think that that was what I was meant to be. So it's kind of like, you know, and it wasn't always, I mean, it wasn't always a strong feature. I mean, when I first started singing, I used to let the band vamp for God knows how long because I was, you know, afraid to take that step. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and that was back when my voice was all up here and up here. And, and then as time goes, you learn, you learn how to sing notes forcefully and with, with you know, with, uh, you know, well, well, in tune. Hopefully, mm-hmm. we're, we're going to attempt for that. But, but it's not. It's not entirely that. So, but, but yeah. But that 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 was my pathway when I when I discovered that I could do that, and it turned me into a songwriter and this whole new path of of music, um, and ho- and has informed all the other aspects of my music too. Right. You know what I'm saying. So, yeah. I mean, it has to be someone something someone is interested in. Totally. But uh, let let alone it, 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 just rhythmically, it, it can be the kind of thing that helps your independence a, a lot. Mm-hmm. Just trying to sing something and play something underneath it. Uh, but then there's the whole thing of like, do you want to deliver a message? Or are you delivering a song? I mean, because that's what you're there to do if you're going to sing. 
So, um, or blend with a band. You could be a background singer and, and right. be a part of the texture, you know? So th these are reasons why to do it. Totally. You know? So, so walk us through the steps. Like, where, where do you start? I mean, I guess even how you set up your kit and your posture, right? Like, posture, yeah. I mean, you're sitting down for one thing. So it's like, you know, I, and, and you're, like, I've got this kind of chesty, belting voice, so it's like I can blow out my voice really easy if I'm not careful, especially from behind the drums, you're bashing. Most of the time, uh, I would say that um, keeping your center is really important to just make sure you've got that filled up to make sure you can sing and get, get a nice, you know, uh, just your, your posture is, is, is important, although I, I probably don't think about it as much as I should. Mm -hmm. um, but. I would say that you'll blow out your voice pretty easy if you shout from, from behind the drums on a, on a nightly basis. And I still do. Sometimes I don't, I don't if my monitor mi mix is off or something, it's like I'll overshoot. So, I mean, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing you have to be, be careful of. Um, I mean, you can set up your drums however you want. I, you know, I tend to just, you know, like even this symbol right here, like I, I could miss it or I could hit this stand. I'm sure there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of, that's how it goes when you've when you got a microphone in front of you. I mean, with my band, I actually have a straight mic in the center, which is just ridiculous. But I really got into this thing of like grabbing the vocal mic and it's like, it's just hilarious. But it works for that band because the grooves I write for that band are mostly just for the left side of my body. So mm -hmm. that's literally the band that I do that in. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, 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 you know, it matters thinking about these things. I mean, I have a really traditional setup. Um, I don't know if this helps or not, but over the years, my snare drum has moved up and somehow my knee is kind of in this odd place that this is just what I, I think that this with the keyboard more, but I will say with, with setup, just get creative and, and just whatever, wherever it takes you, mm -hmm. go for it as long as it's working. But you just got to think about your your air, and uh, and your sound and stuff. I mean, and then do whatever you want. But but it you know it, it's just another thing to add to the mix. And 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 you have to be, you definitely have to be on top of sound people, mm -hmm. you know, because nobody wants the the mic to, to mm -hmm. bleed in all the drums and stuff. So you really have to, you have to uh, learn about sound and things and, and and get the right monitor mix. Get some in ears. Do whatever it takes to help yourself in that respect. Um, so you're not raspy all the time. I mean, which I am anyway, but. <laughs> but you want that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see. They, well, yeah. <laughs> but it's a thing, I mean, it's, it's really a thing, you know, because you are playing drums. Right. So, you know. So how do you practice this? How did you start? And like, what are some tips you can give us? I mean, I, I just started by singing songs, so it's, kind of, it's hard for me to, to, to go back to that, but, but I will say tips. Well, take your favorite songs and start singing them for one thing. I know for me it was it was classic R and B that I used to sing, you know, and, and I still sing, and uh, and I would just you know I, I hired a band and or got, got my friends together basically, and uh, just started to attempt to sing them. Um, things got really deep when I started to do it by myself too, hmm. you know, when there's nowhere to hide. Ain't no sunshine. Let me get let me get the right key. That was, I was, I was close. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. You know? Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. She's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. You know, that, that was one I used to do all the time. And that's a pretty simple beat, but I, I, I would cop a lot of Bill Withers and stuff with like 16th note, slinky hi-hat, and, um, and I would work on it. And, and you just, you, you wanna work on getting a good tone in your voice, you know? Tr try, to, try to get that whole tone, maybe even one, you know. I know, 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 I know. And just like work on, that's just something that just popped in my head. I used to do that one all the time. And it really helped me, I think, kind of feel my whole body. It's a full body experience um, where, uh, especially with drums, I mean, you can kind of, you're keeping something, oftentimes keeping something constant underneath you and you can move about. I know, 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 I know. Hey, wanna leave the young thing alone? Cause there ain't no sunshine when she's 
Just kind of, ex I would experiment with holding, just, and sing some stuff that you make up over top. Challenge yourself, displace the rhythm, uh, record yourself, you know, singing. Uh, try to try to try to keep it in tune, keep it rhythmically, and then also the whole thing of rushing and dragging. I mean, a lot of times cats will try to do something and they won't quite make it, and uh, and I would practice with a metronome. I started bringing the metronome to gigs too. Hmm. I got really into it for a while where I, you know, I don't know if that hurt or helped sometimes. I was a little neurotic about it, but, but it helped me on big stages and stuff, uh, especially when I was singing to kind of like just be aware of song to song, the tempo changes and um, you're committing to something. You're committing to a tempo. Uh, I, I, I mean, recording yourself and listening back, there's just nothing better in terms of learning. You know, I, I would say, I would say that's, that's the thing, but take, take, take a song that, that you really like, and uh, a lot of times, it, something really simple. And, um, you know, I'm not like a jazz singer or something, per se, but, you know, if you wanted to, you could try to sing a standard, mm -hmm. try to uh, keep time for yourself. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're accompanying yourself, you know, it, it's, it's cool because you're in control of, um, you know, Ain't no sunshine when she's gone It's not the warm when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And she's always gone too long Anytime she goes away You know, I mean, I could just kind of play underneath it And just, you know, you get the song So you have a pivot, you have you underneath you're doing something and then you've got what's on top or keep what's on top the same and you can do something underneath mm -hmm. to kind of, you know, feel your body. I mean, it's like it's like those Gary Chafee books or something or a mm. syncopation yeah. where you're just trying to do that, but you're just trying to adding the fifth limb, you know, right. your, 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 your voice uh, on top of it um, to try to, you know, it's all rhythm. It's, it's all space that's being filled in and, and you are just deciding you're adding uh, an extra element to fill. You're that an extra space, element, right? so yeah. I mean, I, right. I think that um, that's how I would practice those kind of things sometimes, or I make mean, it even be anywhere. I mean, it's like you know, I was thinking of that uh, Babylon Sisters, Steely Dan. <laughs> yeah. There's that cool. I think it's like a grouping of five or something, and I was thinking like you could do. You got to shake it, baby. 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 You know, like something like that. Mm -hmm. You can try to compose some exercises like that mm. to challenge yourself. Right. Something along the lines of like take a hook. Yeah. Sing it over. You got to shake it, baby. 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 You got to shake it. You got to shake it, baby. You got to shake it, baby. You got to shake it, baby. You know, like. Try to feel what it, you know, what does it feel like to do this? Right. You know what I mean? Like, c come up with your own exercises um, or try these, you know? Um, Give us one that for, for like an absolute beginner. Absolute beginner. There. Man, I would say keep a 4-4 four, four beat and, 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 and sing a song. Like, what's a song that everybody knows? Um, yeah, so, you know. don't get difficult until you're not singing. <laughs> that's a good example right there. Mm -hmm. You know, take, I mean, that's a simple beat. And um, I, I would, I would, I mean, I think you just have to do it. it it's, it's hard, it's hard to imagine. I mean, you could have a book full of exercises too. Yeah, for sure. Um, to, to, to do those kind of things. But the way I learned is just by singing songs. So that's the best advice I can give to at least get here, <laughs> you know? Right. But, um, yeah, like I just I just thought of that one. That that's a good example. Um, 
you know, stuff where the, where the drums are relatively simple. Um, that's the way to do it. He'll hold down that groove and just try to, try to feel and then go back and listen to it or, you know, you get a metronome in your ear, maybe like a click or something to check your tempo. I don't know. I mean, I, I love doing that. Yeah. Um, that, that's a fun, that's a fun practice. Do you find that there's a certain skill level you need to be at as a drummer before you can start introducing your voice, or is this something you can dive into right away? Did you find you had struggles when you started? Oh, man. I don't think there's any right way to do it. I mean, yeah, I struggled a lot. I probably didn't even know I was struggling because, of, I mean, you know, I didn't, I mean, I've just grown so much as a singer. I'm a drummer first, so the singing came later. Mm-hmm. So I've just come such a long way in the past decade that it's, like, hard to even go back and listen right. to what I was back then. You know, which still seemed cool to people probably, but like now I'm just like, dude, you know. So it's just a progression. Mm -hmm. So you just gotta start. The most important thing is that you are delivering a message, a song. Mm -hmm. You're like, you know, you're giving something to the audience and you're a front man. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's the thing. Right. You know, that's that's the difference. You're bringing the drums into the front. Right. You know, you're you're singing that song. So, I mean, I think that that's, that's an important thing. Are you that person? You have to be. Right. kind of person. Unless you're going to sing, if we're talking about the band and being the blend, that's also another thing, which I'm actually far worse at. I can do it, but... Really? And Well, yeah, I mean, my yeah. voice is like, you know, I don't have a lot of upper register and stuff, and like it's, you know, I'm, I'm better served as a lead singer. I mean, I can blend with others, and, 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 I, and I like that too, but, but I'm much more of just like, a, here we are, and this is it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um... And that's why, you know, I mean, that's why the Paris monster is so cool because there's only two of us. There's just so much space mm. for everything, you know, and also improvisation. I really enjoy improvisation. So if I want to just go for something and just, you know, yeah. go wherever. Less, less feet to step on. Less feet to step on, yeah. yeah. More Are responsibility. You- but, but yeah, I, I would say um, just you pick, pick some songs, get them together, go to jam sessions and try them out. You know, get together, book gigs, and, and uh, I mean, I used to I used to play gigs with instrumental music, and I'd sing a few songs. Mm. That's how I started, you know, just sing a few, kind of like just ease into it. You know, don't 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 go crazy. I mean, if you're first starting out. Now, before we do this lesson, you were showing me or talking about um, some of the things that you're doing. One of them is playing like a long note over top of a complex beat. Yeah. Do you want to elaborate on that a bit? Yeah. Well, I was just thinking about energy and and stuff, and like enough stuff. energy of when you when you peak on a note and you you yourself are the person and it's like I'm I'm holding that note you know like it's all me right there it's all this one person that has that responsibility of that energy you know what I'm saying and it's just that one fill underneath it um, you're transferring energy, mm. you know what I mean? And it's, it's, you're literally, you're doing all the work, you know, in that sense, and it's, it's cool. It's a cool feeling, uh, you know, yeah. to, 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 to have that, that kind of responsibility in the music. So, I mean, some of my favorite recordings are when this, the drummer is singing, and, and it, I don't know if you're familiar, but there's uh, the Levon Helm of the band. Yes. Just the man for that. They're on their live album, Rock of Ages, they're playing Don't Do It, which is a, actually an old Motown song, but the band's version is just amazing. And there's a part where, um, what, what does he do? Oh, yeah. Open up your heart. And he goes, open up your heart, girl. And the way that he releases, open up your heart, and he just... And it's like, I hear that recording and I'm like, I know what that must feel like. I mean, 
It's such a feeling of, mm -hmm. it's a rush. Mm -hmm. And you listen to that moment mm -hmm. where the band is building, and then he does that fill, and it's just a simple fill. Right. But there's something about the fact that it's him doing those two things. Right. Open up your heart, girl. And he, he plays that fill in, into that, and it's just, um, that's the magic of, of this. Right. That kind of stuff. Or, or Buddy Transfer. Miles. Right. Buddy right. Miles on Band of Gypsies. Mm -hmm. You know, those kind of moments, like, that doesn't have, it, it's not the same thing if it's two people doing it. You know? So you do long notes over lots of playing physically while you're holding a long note. Do you ever do the opposite, you know, where you're practicing just playing something simple and s singing a lot? Yeah. Um, That's just me that's practicing. So cool. That's if I. That's if just I, you practicing. That's me practicing. Yeah. You know, trying to and like I'm hearing my pitch and being like ah, you know, and or like whatever, like just trying to get something. Um, pick something like an ostinato. Uh, I was also thinking about like doing some things. Um, you could uh, sing something over and over again on top of something. Like for instance, this is. This is a this is a weird one, and this just this, but I have to share this because it's really cool. Okay. But for instance, if you're playing in five dotted quarters, come around every three measures. Mm -hmm. So let's say we're in like. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was thinking mm -hmm. about you could you could make your own exercises doing that kind. Of, I should th I should think about doing this. You know, you could you could make some cool exercises with whatever long rhythmic um, things will will go over a certain beat. You could take that dotted quarter and you could incorporate that into everything that can go underneath it. For instance, that's my favorite when I play it in an, when I play in an odd time or something like that. I I, I always think about the wide beat, mm -hmm. the, 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 the longer feeling of that, and, and you can do the same thing with the voice. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm singing yeah. that dotted quarter. Right. There's three measures of five, and it's a dotted quarter. So I'm just, what I'm trying to illustrate is that the voice is a rhythmic instrument too, and you can go over the bar line, and you can do all those, those kind of lovely Love things it. with it as well, and, and you're the one supporting it. Totally. You're literally the, the one supporting it, so it's a, it's a cool concept. Do you mind playing us another song? That's cool. Let's do let's it. Do I, it. I'd love to hear another tune. Okay. And um, you got a couple prepared, so yeah, let's do one. Okay. I'm gonna play this, this Vision Complete song because this is the, the thing that... I, I like this one because of the the, 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 the rhythmic component of the melody and how it weaves and things like that. It's called A Vision Complete by Paris Monster. Spend all this time on something Without bringing up a lunch To know what a vision of a vision Turned out right If not perfectly written with care and precision It won't take all Me. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm working. So I was so trying to incorporate cool. a couple of the things I was talking about, actually, because you got me thinking. But um, transference of energy, man, yeah. that's a big one because it's you doing it. So, and you've got all this at your fingertips. You know, I was being playful with that one, but dynamics are big. That's a big part of music, and uh, as we all know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that, that was. So but I really I keys at the same time. Like you're doing three things at once. That's day. true. That that's true. I am. I mean, you know, I'm just setting myself up for disappointment, really. But but <laughs> this song is cool because it's so simple. And it's cool because I've got this delay. But then you want to bring it. You can do all kinds of things. You'll be like. Flange, that's my friend, this is my man. I could just do that forever. I mean, I just yeah, love dude, funk music and forever, simple man. stuff. So, yeah. I mean, there's, there's way you can do more complex stuff, but for that song, that's what that is. And the cool thing about that one to me is the, the melody and the rhythmic component of the melody carries it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really, this is almost, you know, it's not that essential. Like I change it all the time if I want to, mm -hmm. um, which is great. That's so cool. <laughs> if you forget something, but yeah. So there we go. You got something special, that's for sure. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're we're, we're proud of it. Yeah. We're proud of it. Yeah. So a couple questions for you, um, drummers who are trying to get into singing. Do you, what happens when you lose your breath? I mean, it's a, it's a very physical mm. activity. Yeah. Drumming alone, and now you're trying to sing too. Is there any tips you can give on how to focus that and? plan your breathing I don't know breathing I mean you especially when you work in the studio I mean you'll 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 actually have to think about that kind of stuff mm -hmm. you know and I, don't, I mean I'm I, I need you know I'm I'm kind of an un, I'm not completely an untrained singer but but in many ways I am there's things that I'm still get grasping that are probably basic you know aspects of it but oh I do know that I'm when I actually find my center and I'm coming from this region where you fill up your air you know, you're 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 gonna have a better tone, and you're gonna you're gonna have more air, and um, I mean, it's 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 the thought. It's no different than this is a longer note than this. You know what I'm saying? It's like your length of notes are your music, mm -hmm. and it's the same thing with the voice. Oh, I'm not right in the police, my family. You know, it's like your note, your length of notes can be staccato mm -hmm. or legato. I mean, it's 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 literally um, the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like that's how you plan your air. Um, I I happen to really be into short notes because I almost add syllables to words sometimes because it kind of makes it makes me feel funky. You know what I mean? It's just like mm. I'm not a right in the please my family. I'm not a right in the please of my family. You know, like something like that where I'm almost ghosting. Mm -hmm. Like go everything is ghost notes. It's all I'm a drummer. It's like everything everything I do has a ghost note. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm not a right in the please of my family. To earn the same, to earn the same alone. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 coming. If you want to check out some artists that do those kind of things, Al Jarreau. Michael Jackson. I mean, that's where that kind of stuff comes from. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there, you know. So I'm, I'm, um, you know, I'm taking that and figuring out how it works with this, and it, and it makes it funky uh, over top. Right. You know. Right. Is there anything you do outside of the drums, practicing singing? Like when you are singing, say you're on a walk and you're singing, is it something you do with your hands, or is it something you can practice not yeah. being behind the drum kit? Oh yeah, I mean you could do, well like I mean if you're on the train or something, I mean you could you could just, I would try to do, you know, remember before, you got to shake it baby, you got to shake it baby, you got to shake it baby, you got to, just try some different, 
da na uh, uh, you gotta be sincere. You you know, just trying to try some different things over it. Um, challenge yourself, some different rhythmic things over an ostinato that you hold for yourself. Um, I gotta get back into Hindemith. There's a composer that had all these amazing rhythmic exercises. Right. And I would say that you know you could you could just take any of those types of things or the syncopation book, mm -hmm. and you could. Um, I'm sure you could somehow work the voice into it. I mean, honestly, I think if you just sing songs over different things, they're over, the over, because 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 the thing about drumming is, what are we doing? Well, we're 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 grooving, mm -hmm. which is what you protect the groove. You want it to you want it to be that swampy thing that feels good. You know what I mean? So it's like, how can you maintain that and and sing? I mean, you just have to do it. Right. So I think that it's really, it's really holding something while delivering the song. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying, and, and um, yeah, it, it's it's a it's a wild thing, but that's really what you're doing, and and you don't want either one to suffer, right? So, do you have a focus one over the other when you're playing, or is it all just one? Like, is there one thing that if you're gonna mess up, let's at least mess this up, or like, how do you think about it when you're doing both? Whew. I mean, it's hard because I I would say that I don't. I don't think about it, and I think that I mean I think that when I do, it probably is not good. But I think that it, I mean I do I do think that it can become one organism. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But um, your natural instinct on the drums should know if things are lagging. Mm. You know what I mean? So you you can't lose track of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you know you'll let it sink or you'll you know and and I'm all for moving the tempo. I'm not saying you have to be like perfect or anything. I, right. I think that. It's more about being with the people that you're on stage with, you know, being present with them and listening and like grooving with them as a whole. Um, get up on that mic, don't be afraid, but relax. I mean, you can't, you can't, you, you, you want to force it because you're doing all this and you're, you know, but it's really like I'm trying to tell myself just chill out. The best shows I play are when I'm just like, my pulse is like nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I freak out, and then it becomes a thing, and, and it's like I you know, go through an entire, sweat through an entire outfit, and it's like, okay, now that's fun too. But, but, but I think that relaxing is big. Um, that you'll get better airflow that way. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're gonna get a better tone that way. Um, I mean, unless you're just shouting, which is also cool. Yeah. You know, but. Um, I love it. Yeah, there's a lot to it. There's 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 really a lot to it, and it really it really it can't develop unless you're just doing it. Mm -hmm. Get you know get some songs together, you know, figure out what the tempo that feels good that feels good to sing. I mean, you're the one that knows. That's the thing that's great because as a drummer, when you accompany singers, you're gonna know. Mm -hmm. You're gonna know. I can man, if a singer is not comfortable with the tempo, my radar, boom. Mm -hmm. I'm just these days, I'm just like, oh, shit, they're unhappy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I can tell it's too fast or it's too. In a slow or whatever, it's like, so it, 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 your radar will go up because you'll know what it feels like. Right. Or this rhythm is too fast at this tempo. We can't do this, you know. So it, there's 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 all these decisions that have to be made, you know. And your 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 instinct will start to, you know, develop with with those kind of situations. You know. Now you mentioned one thing you wanted to talk about is. Singing over a shuffle, why is that so tough? Yeah, yeah. Like, I thought about, talk it. about that. I thought about it, man, just because um I mean it's not it's not it's not, it shouldn't be tough. But I was thinking about ghost notes and stuff. Singing over a shuffle seems like it's I'm gonna do that. Some like that, where it's like, 
throw a wrench in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like get it feeling good, but like try to. I think that's a great. I mean, I need to do that more. Like that. That was just haven't done that in a while actually, and it's just kind of like because you're you're keeping. Over that, I mean, that's a pretty busy beat. Mm -hmm. So um, there's, you know, I, I I think singing over a shuffle is is a really cool thing to do. Um, you got to shake it, baby. You got to shake it. You know, you could keep doing that one. You know, it's like it's like choose anything. Really choose anything. Um, but um, but I love blues. I mean, I, I I grew up on blues. I discovered it when I was really young. So I think that 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 groove, or you know. A lot of ones when I do at clinics are, you know. To me, it's like that that swing. You know, it's like, man, you're you're really in it. You're dancing. You're mm -hmm. dancing. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and you're and you're you're kind of shouting on top of it. So it's 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 a thing. These these more these busier beats, aside from the the regular kind of you know eighth note rock stuff. Um, it's always physical, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. But the, the reason I brought up the shuffle is is because of the uh, the ghosting element and and the fact that it's. Swinging and, and, and I guess singing triplets and subdivisions over top of that would be a challenge. Mm -hmm. I would think that would be a, oh, yeah. a good thing to work on. Big time. You know? What about something like 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover? Right, something? we talked about that. Yeah, we talked about that <laughs> okay. one too. Okay, let me try that. Oh, that's the wrong. Well, I'm not going to play keyboard. That'd be stupid. But don't. The problem is all inside. So I think it's like, oh, I, I, I don't play the beat correctly, but it's like, So I'm thinking, I remember I was on cover gigs and I would call that song. Be like, how am I gonna pull this off? I mean, I don't know the exact way that Gad did it. I'm just kind of doing sure. whatever it sounds yeah. like to me. But it's like, I got. So it's like the, you know, I'm doing a, with the foot. You know, um, don't learn it this way. Don't learn it this way. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, take a song if you really want to challenge yourself. Um, I found singing that song was really difficult. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like some of those famous, you know, some famous drum pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, could I even do it? So you know, something like that. You know. Throw, throw yourself like that's that's tricky, man. Mm -hmm. You know, well, you got to be able to play the beat first. Yeah, before you can even add the element of singing in. I mean, I'm gonna work on that soul vaccination. Yeah, um, exactly. yeah, that's a cool one. I'm just saying, like anything that's rhythmic like that, that's like a like a hook. Like you got you got to play that drum groove at least close enough where it sounds like it. In my book, I mean, I'm I'm not a, I'm not super studied with the, mm, the, sure. the different ways that people played things, but but um, but I. I know 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover was, was a real challenge for me. And I also love that one because the beat is, is so, 
it's just like Gad's like one of my favorite drummers. I mean, it's just the, so much touch, mm -hmm. and 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 the singing is just the problem is on all inside your head. She said to me, it's so light. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's a great one. Mm -hmm. That's a great one to, because you know it doesn't always have to be bombastic, you know. So it's like that's right. that's some beautiful stuff, you know. I, I but um, but I, I really learned a lot from singing and drumming by by doing cover gigs. Mm -hmm. I really did, you know. I was, you know, like we had talked earlier. I mean, I I. I made more money sometimes <laughs> and you know I mean I'm just saying like, it, it right. is a, it is a thing people for certain kinds of music they're gonna want you mm -hmm. because you you have that ability um, and uh, find different ways to be creative right. you know what I mean aside from just being a great drummer and developing your sound on drums or being a singer and developing your sound as a singer I, I know I, I, I really uh, supported myself over the years being a lead singer who who played drums, and that was what my little thing I carved out. So no doubt, you know, I think it's a thing, man. Well, you definitely got something unique going for you now. I mean, you're 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 blowing up online. Hopefully, I wish you all the best with with uh, Thank Paris you. Monster and all that. Oh, but man, thanks. We got a new album coming out next year. Things are starting to take off, and uh, we're really excited. We've been really working on it. So yeah, 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 very cool. So to recap, I and mean, we're running out of time. I'll get you to play one more song for us out. But um, to recap, what would you, what kind of tips would you give for the members watching, beginner drummers all up to advance, how you can better yourself and start getting into singing and drumming? How, how we can just get into it? How we can get into it? Well, I mean, I would just say, start a band. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I would get get some songs together, and. Um, you know, make some choices. I would say um, play along to records. Uh, to, you know, take in, You know, make yourself oh, sit down at the piano, figure out the melodies of the songs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and kind of do a little homework as to maybe what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. um, if there is an, if the melody is like beyond a bluesy melody, like you know, try to figure out what chord tones the melody hits and try to try to sing that. Uh, by yourself, without the piano, afterwards, like try to challenge yourself to get you know get better with your ear training and things like that, um, and then see if you can uh, sing it without the piano, sing it with just the drums. I will say this: if if you can sing a song and play it by yourself, when you get with a band, you really know that song. Right. You really know it. Yeah. And uh, and learn the songs, learn the harmony of the songs, you know, like learn them completely, uh, and you will thank yourself. You know what I mean? So understand, you gotta know the changes. I mean, because now if somebody doesn't know it, you've got to be able to, to yell at them and you know, the four chord or whatever, you know? I mean, you, you have to know that kind of stuff. So, so these are all the things to think about if you're gonna get serious about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, I know a lot of drummers, they just, they focus so much of their time on technique and rhythm and you know, note values and stuff, but now you gotta get into the more melodic stuff. Like you just said, the fourth yeah. chord. How many drummers even know what that is, right? Right. So well, you got a little, little bit of that. You said, practice the metronome, obviously. Metronome is your friend, man. Long notes on your voice while playing complex stuff underneath and then complex stuff underneath while doing short notes on top. Or did I say that the yeah. way? Yeah, or both of those. You could sing scales. You could sing mm. scales over, you know, na, 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 you know. Maybe maybe pick a beat like that beat is a beat I play all the time so like I'm gonna naturally play it well because I'm just gonna kind of you know autopilot you know sing right. practice your scales over that um, and then of course the energy of holding the note which is more of a nuance that's more of an extra thing mm -hmm. but like I think the most important thing is to remember that you are in charge of the energy mm -hmm. so it's like if if you if you want to have a moment where the music flourishes and you're the singer well that's up to you and the drums can accompany that mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i think that that's that's a real cool aspect of it very cool yeah. man yeah Love it. Tons of little tips in there, guys. Josh, you're obviously a very artistic guy. You've been doing this for a long time. I have, yeah. And you can see it. Your, your experience is there. Um, even down to like sitting properly, having good posture, you know, getting Sorry. a good breath in there. Like some of the simple things that you wouldn't even think of, you know, where are you going to put your mic, you know? Yeah. No, and, and I mean, it, it, it all matters. Um, yeah. and, and, and I can't stress enough, like just learning the drummers, learning the, the full aspect of music, you know, the, the textures of section to section and what the chords are and, and stuff. I mean, that really changed my, my whole thing, man, when, once I started to be able to hear 
those things. Mm -hmm. And 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 once we're talking about simple stuff, I'm not talking about crazy jazz or anything like that. That's another thing too. But I'm I'm just saying like starting to understand the color between one, four, and five, and and the two chord and the six chord, and knowing where things go and. You know, it's going to be so easy not only to direct a band, but to learn other people's music if you want a gig. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you could listen to a song one time, yeah. be like, oh, it sounds like it's around 80 BPM because you know what that is. And yeah. it's in this key and these are the chords and blah, blah, blah. I mean, these are real fundamental things that like we, we overlook sometimes. Yeah. You know. Dude. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. This has been an awesome day. Yeah, it's very cool. So. It's, it's something unique. I'm so glad we we, uh, we got you out here. I, me and Jared have both seen you on YouTube, I don't know how long ago, and we've just been wanting to get you out for so long. Oh, so thank I'm you. Glad thank it you. finally happened. Thank you, guys. Next time you come out, you're going to have to show us how to play drums and keyboard at the same ah. time. I wanted to do both, but we didn't have time for well, both. Well, um, give me a little time to work on it then. That's good. <laughs> no, you sound great. <laughs> uh, so for everyone watching uh, live, tomorrow we're going to be live again for just a performance. We'll also get to some questions that we might have missed in here. I know some of the Edge members have asked about the keyboard. We'll talk about that tomorrow. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube, it's going to be on YouTube as well. But uh, we do have a lot of cool things that we're filming with Josh inside of Dromeo Edge, so make sure you check that out. And uh, again, huge thanks, Yamaha, Meinl, Vic Firth, and, yeah. and Evans. Good sounds. Yes, and check Josh out at the Paris, Paris Monster. Monster. The Instagram is the Paris Monster. Um, and the website and is just Paris ParisMonster.com. Paris it's really easy to find. Yeah. And uh, there's lots of videos up there. That is my band with the great Jeff Crayley. Uh, I want to let you know that all of this exists because of that band. This is not something that I just thought. Mm -hmm. This was derived. This was, you know, this is a concept mm -hmm. for for a sound, not just to do it. So it's to do it for that, Love and it. now to do it for everything apparently. But yeah, are we missing anything? Are we missing anything? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't think so. I mean, I, I just, you know, hit everything. Yeah. yeah. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, follow Josh. I will see you guys all later. We're going to let you play us out with something. I'm going to get out of here, and then okay. you can just have fun. You mm. know, take your time, play something cool. You are so groovy. I can just listen to you all day. Well, thank Bye, you. everyone.
off. 